Hello there, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal. We are on episode 44 today. As always, I'm Shane. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3, or you can hop over to the Code Karate website if you haven't already and sign up for the newsletter. I am working on a couple of videos that, if you are signed up for the newsletter, you will be able to get first access to. They're in the works. Now They'll be coming in probably the next couple weeks or a month or so. Today we are going to be talking about the code filter module. And what this is going to allow you to do is it adds an input filter on your site that allows you to handle PHP tags and code tags. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to set it up so users can add code in comments or in the posts without having to escape the characters that normally would have to be escaped such as the less than and greater than signs. So what this is going to allow you to do is post code and have it display nicely on the site and we're going to give it a try here. So we're going to go ahead and log in and I'm going to use Drush to download this module to my Drupal website. And I'm also going to use Drush to enable it. So if I come over to the site here, I'm going to go ahead and filter. And you can see that code filter module 7.x-1.0 has been enabled. And what this is going to allow you to do is set up an import format. So I'm going to start by coming over here to add a new article. And it's not going to allow you to add PHP tags yet. You have to actually turn on this filter. And we, we can add it to either you know filtered HTML, full HTML. We'll be able to pick where we want this filter to run. And the first step we'll go ahead and come over here and it's in this text formats section I believe and we'll go into filtered HTML and hit configure now you notice there's a code filter checkbox here so we're going to go ahead and enable this filter and you can select the order that it runs in and I believe we'll go ahead and leave this at the top and we'll see we'll test it to make sure that it is going to work so I'll go back to add content and I will add an article so I'm going to start by adding a code tag here and we're going to say let's say for instance we wanted some JavaScript So I say it was some JavaScript code or some other type of shell scripting code. Then we're also going to try some PHP. Just we'll just print out a simple string. We'll try that. We'll go ahead and save it. You can see that to post pieces of code surround them with code tags. For PHP code you can use the PHP tags which will add the color. So we'll save this. Okay you can see that this seems to have worked fine but the PHP code is not working. So let's... we may have to change the order of this here in order to get this to work. So let's go and move this code filter to the bottom. We'll save that. We will refresh and now you notice that it is working. So the order of the the filter processing order does matter. I'm guessing that we need the code filter to run after one of these in order for it to actually work and it may actually say this in the documentation somewhere. We can go ahead and take a look.
and you can notice that it says go to the input formats page and order it to resolve any conflicts so make sure the code filter comes before the line break conver converter so we'll go ahead and come back and see if we can move this before the line break converter but after the way it limits the HTML tags and we'll try that and it still works so you, you're going to want to look at the documentation here which I was able to get to f right from the code filter drupal.org page and make sure that you follow these instructions here and then it works it's pretty basic and it works very well especially if you need to display PHP or other types of code on your Drupal website it's the module I believe that runs on drupal.org itself so this is actually run through this code filter module so you can actually see it on a in action by going to the drupal.org site and it's a really basic module that allows you to do some pretty cool things and as you can see in the comment here there is a section for code so users could post comments in code and this is really good for technical blogs and it is what I used on Code Karate for quite a while. I eventually switched to another module, which I will be demoing here in the next couple days. So that's all for this time on the Daily Dose of Drupal. You can follow me on Twitter and let me know if you have any suggestions for future Daily Dose of Drupal episodes. Until next time, thanks for watching.